Welcome everybody to the newest season, no series, of the Orc Saga. All eight of them. I think there's eight. I'm actually not sure. But we are playing as Book. Who is the ranged orc? He was the most voted. Oh god, don't kill me. He was the most voted out of all of the orcs in the uh well there was only two orcs. It was him, the the Grognak Grognak the melee orc, or it was him. Book the ranged orc. Sorry if my voice sounds weird. I just woke up. I haven't really had much time to talk. Hey, don't kill him, he's knocked out. But yeah, peep the mod list. We got a good bit of mods. Uh this season's a little like subtitle slash tagline supposed to be new worlds and i was supposed to, I'm, my goal was to add in a bunch of mods that change the world and it's really hard to do that because unlike minecraft and probably like other games that have a lot a lot of modification you do to it fallout don't starve even uh there wasn't exactly that many options to choose from <clears throat> when it comes to changing the world especially without breaking the game like i wanted to play with the new uh calamity version the one that adds in planetoids but i straight up couldn't it just wouldn't let me i couldn't add it without the game crashing but uh we have anti in here a bunch of other mods we got little mods spirit mod is not in here because i think it was about time that other mods had to shine in its place still love spirit mod though uh note somebody has written something on it use to read if you don't give if you don't hold on i would like to read it like this if you don't give us the information we need we will slaughter you don't pretend you don't know where the thing we look for is. It's a very odd phrasing, but it's all good. I'm pretty sure the developers are Russian. So, uh, okay. Poor uh, guide right here. Let's wake him up. Ugh. My head hurts so much. Oh, hello, Book. Someone burst into my house and pretty much destroyed it. If you could repair it, I'd live in it again. You should look into my chest to have things that can help you with progression. By the way, if you need some help, just talk to me. So, we're, oops. We're going to be playing... I might as well throw it out. We're gonna be playing on uh, Revengeance because I have not played a character on Revengeance besides that multiplayer series, and that doesn't really count because I was a multiplayer series. But I think it's about time that we play it on Revengeance because I need the little I need the little added difficulty. And Revengeance isn't too bad. It's not as bad as Death Mode and Masochist Mode from uh, Fargo's mod and whatever other modes there are. Can you not die? Please? I would appreciate that. Yeah, there you go. Activate it. I don't even remember what Vengeance Mode does. <laughs> this shit gives you way too much starting items. Way too many starting items. And I don't think I appreciate that. I'll keep the bow. No, I won't. I won't keep anything but the arrows. How about that? Okay, the chest I'll keep. Slime crown. Like, come on. Like, some of this stuff. I'll take a sip of that. I won't lie. Some of this stuff is just too much, though. Some of it is just too much. The torches and bombs I'll keep. But everything else. Nah, I'm good off of that, man. I am good off of that. I will use that mana star. But the arrows I'll keep. The arrows are pretty useful. Hey, man, I'm going to put this back in your uh, drawer if you don't mind. Is that a fucking boar? Don't let that thing come inside, man, because I, I can't save you if he comes inside. But yeah, let's uh, make a workbench. We'll put it right here. And let's make a quick bow. There's a blunderbuss, blunderbuss base we can make. Sounds pretty good. Oh, we got nimble. Pumpkin. Can I make pumpkin armor? Would pumpkin armor be good at the beginning? I was deciding if I should make this first episode like now or not. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling because I want to get this up and then I want to stream some Red Dead too. Oh look, got some goodies. What kind of goodies you got? Let's uh, let's probably start by repairing this floor, shouldn't we? Quick, quick floor repair for the boys. Quick that, so we can put a door down. Uh, but yeah, what he job? He there's his hammer, magic hammer, 10% hammer power. Can be used to make a toolkit. Okay, I don't know what a toolkit is, but we're about to discover that magic tools kit used to repair guide's house. Oh, oh, that's how we're supposed to do it. <laughs> I was just gonna, you know, just make my own stuff. Let's pull up our quest book here. We have no current quest active. Okay, uh, and then we got this pruning shears can cut vines. Okay, I mean, might as well just put all this stuff in my hot bar. Uh, leaf roll uses uses five out of five okay interesting grenades that is throwing damage no thank you but we do have a arrow so i can participate in damaging stuff or a bow not an arrow but yeah what do we need we need iron wood and leather okay i'm assuming we get leather from this guy can i use this cannon 
that wasn't even a cannon. What? Well, it was a cannon. It just it didn't drop a cannon. Oh god, I didn't mean to shoot the. Oh god, <laughs> I didn't mean to shoot the boar yet. Oh dude, okay. He's very weak to knockback, and we got a lot of arrows. So like, I would like to see him charge. Like he's just getting pushed back. Imagine being a boar, and the only thing you can do is charge at people, and you can't even do that right. That's just embarrassing to you and all your boar brethren. Oh, come on, bro. I think I might make this dude shooting the squirrel. <laughs> I think I might make a pumpkin armor because I think it has higher defense than wooden armor. I'm pretty sure it has higher defense. So why not make it? We could easily get our hands on it. 20, 30. Let's make the 30 one. Boom, bada, bing. Dude, Book looks buff as shit. Look how buff he looks in that armor. But yeah, let's do some exploring. Uh, obviously, we'll keep our eye out for iron. How much? Need six. Keep our eye, eyes peeled for iron and also keep looking for uh, more boars to slaughter. There's a cave like directly under us. But is that like a legit cave? I don't know. But uh, so you can see here, if you guys remember, what was it, Larkus? Was it Larkus or was it Nunderson? I don't know. But ever since the gnomes have, you know, kind of inhabited the lands, sort of colonized the area, we'll be seeing them a lot. They are known to live in forests, just purities slash forest biomes, just the regular biomes. And uh, I have no idea what adrenaline and rage is. <laughs> but as you can see, they've colonized the area. And you may not see them out anymore. Because I hear they're, they're making big moves, man. Autismo. Autismo's got some big plans. Now, he is a god. And he pretty much can do whatever the hell he wants. He can make these gnomes you know, live an extremely way better life. Than, that was like a double positive. And a way better life than they're currently living. Let's just go into a cave right away, man. Get that iron, knock it out. Also, getting like an iron bow would be really good. But yeah, we have a bunch of mods. We're playing as a ranger. Now, ranger is one of the stronger classes uh, in the game, in my opinion. But that can go for like all classes when it comes to mods. Like, there's a lot of strong classes when it comes to mods. Who would have known? Who would have? Yeah, who would have known that a fishing character would be one of my strongest characters? Just so easy how strong he was like I, I didn't have to put in effort to like show off his strength he was just strong okay if i break this am i gonna get hit by the sand no it's a hard sandstone block we good look at the observation book is a sharpshooter all right so he's gotta have the eyes no homo like i ain't staring at his eyes i'm like damn those are some beautiful eyes book no he's gotta have the he's gotta have the eyes peeled all the time you know that sounds painful. He's got to have his eyes. When he was born, his eyes were peeled naturally. <laughs> no, he's got to. He's always got to be on the lookout for things. Because he's the sharpshooter. He got the aim. He's like a bullseye from Daredevil. I heard that new Daredevil season is really good. Kind of kind of, kind of want to get Netflix back just to watch it. And you be like, gamers, you don't have Netflix? I, when I had Netflix, I would watch shows on it. And I would just never watch shows again. <laughs> Like, I would watch, I do this thing where I watch, like, the first couple parts of a season. I'm like, damn, this is a pretty good show. And then once I get, like, a couple episodes in, I'm like, damn. I remember when I thought this was a really good show. Even if it is actually a really good show, it's like, I don't know. Sometimes I just, I just get bored. I just be bored sometimes. I pretty much just use YouTube, like, TV nowadays. So I don't really sit down and watch TV like that. It ain't my thing anymore, man. It ain't my thing. The last TV show I watched, oh, I can't even say that because I don't even remember the last actual like show I watched on TV, but the last show I watched, beginning to end, I think I went and rewatched Avatar, but I didn't finish it. I got to like, there was like three episodes left and I just didn't finish it. I know what happens. I've watched it before. Uh, I guess Rick and Morty was one of them. I'm, I'm trying to think. Red, Red Dead, Walking Dead I watched. But before it became whatever it is now. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more iron. What color slimes are That's red? These red slimes look awfully pink. Awfully pink looking red slime right here. We need the gel though. Even though we got a bunch of torches. We're almost out of torches. Never mind. I was going to say, even though we got those torches from Calamity. 
it, we're already out, so it don't matter. Yeah, I, I don't know how I'm gonna, what guns I'm gonna use and how I'm gonna use them. Okay, I'm gonna shoot people with them. But, I don't know which guns I'm gonna get. Obviously, Calamity guns are nice. Dorium guns are nice. There's a lot of guns that are nice. Uh, I don't really have a specific gun type we're going for. Uh, because it's Book, he's good with all guns. Like I said, he's a sharp shooter. Give him a... Motherfucker, I heard it too. I just didn't know what it was. So I'm thinking about maybe for this series, even though I just said I don't have a, an exact focus on what weapons I'll get. Maybe in this series, we go for the most unique guns. Because I feel like everyone has seen the uh, guns that are the ones everyone wants, like the strongest ones. I feel like people have seen those. All, they see them all the time. What, why don't we just like get the ones that have the most unique feel? Still, they can still be effective, but have unique feels like guns that no one uses. If you guys have ever watched, maybe you guys have, but if you've ever watched my OG original fishing playthrough, the vanilla one, um, if you've watched that, in that series, I explored a bunch of weapons that no one used. It was kind of like a half and half fishing series because I got a bunch of weapons, but it, for example, slap pan. I legitimately like got that and used it as a weapon and there's a bunch of other stuff obsidian swordfish I think I got the obsidian armor like a bunch of stuff that no one usually gets is what I got in that series dude even if I had enough iron we can't do anything we don't have a <laughs> we don't have the shift of the boar what is that puff we got elements of woken in here you can tell from the name it's a really cool looking monster. The mod had really nice sprites. Pla padded with pure fluff. Okay. Feels really nice. That's always nice to be looking for. Now, nah, we're not going to go for any of that stuff though. It's kind of always upsetting having... <laughs> That's why I want to do like single... single. I didn't even finish that sentence. That's why I want to do... Um... Reveals nearby wooden glitches. I want to do mods or mod playthroughs where I just have a single mod in them but like I don't know I feel like that can be stale at sometimes uh, shout out my boy stale you know who you are but you know what I mean the mod has to have a certain size but at the same time it's kind of upsetting when I don't when I can't you know fully explore and immerse myself into the mod because of me having multiple mods in here and there's just a lot of mods that I prefer like, I prefer grabbing Calamity weapons over Spirit weapons is a good example. I prefer Thorium weapons over Spirit weapons. Uh, I'm just comparing Spirit because it's the big three. And, like, gotta put it, you gotta put Spirit in there. I remember, people, I got comments, like, there's this point in time where I had comments, like, every day. I don't know, maybe people were just fucking with me. But I had, like, comments every day on the Tremor mod review, and people were like... Tremor is a part of the big three or the big four. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I know I had this rant on stream. I was like, I was like, what the hell are these people talking about? Have you all ever played G Realm, Sacred Tools, Juiced Mod? So many other mods that anti Aris, Split, and y'all saying Tremor? Y'all some y'all motherfuckers the quality or the content over quality was it quantity over quality motherfuckers? Over here saying Tremor deserves to be in the top four huh y'all ever played the other mods it's like people what's that oh, there's a boar i need to kill you man i'm very sorry that leather is needed i don't know how much leather i need i think it was six or was that the iron maybe it's four i don't know this guy uses a lot of arrows but we get a decent amount back we can make arrows fairly easily too so i ain't too worried i'm not worried at all don't take fall damage Thank the Lord. Bless up. No boulders this time, please. I would appreciate that. Okay. So we have two leather. Where are we at? Where are we on the leather? What am I even making? <laughs> this one. What is that? That's scary. Uh, four. Okay. Not bad. It's doable. It's doable. Maybe not in this nighttime cycle, but it's doable. I don't know how long I want to make this first episode. I wanted to do an hour long episode. But I think I mentioned it at the beginning of the episode, I wanted to stream Red Dead, do a lot of other things. I've been doing pretty good on uploading and everything. Because a while ago, I was like, hey, I'll try and get two videos out a day. 
that didn't last that long but recently i've been getting two even one day i got out three videos even if they weren't like full like big videos L little videos that are like four or five minutes of me playing like a random game say like black ops fortnite whatever other game that isn't terraria because terraria usually i just play and then let it go through like no editing no big editing maybe a cut here and there but uh when it comes to other games for example fortnite black ops because those fallout because i did my final fallout 4 video uh i think you should be uploading the same day this video uploads we'll see it's like those take way longer because i sit through i sit through like hours of footage an hour two hour footage for however long this session is and then i edit all the way through it there's a bird thing right here i don't know what i could do with birds can i do anything with birds these fucking birds are fast man i don't think there is <laughs> Maybe I could get like the wings, but I don't think that, or the feathers, but I don't think those matter that much. But yeah, send through hours of footage and going through them it takes a lot longer than uh, Terraria stuff. Really, it's just 10 plus 10 mana. I mean, I guess, might as well, no reason not to have it right now. There's no reason at all not to have it. Okay, this cave kind of sucked. Wait, there's a little thing right here. You see that? Little, little light right there in the darkness. Let me check that out. What a beautiful night sky we have out here. I have a mod in here called Better Night Sky, I think. So nice out here. It's really beautiful. Look at the moon. Ooh, that's nice. We need more mods like that. We need more mods that just make Terraria look beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like a more foliage mod. That would be a prime example right there. Uh, yeah, we need to not have zombies invading the area right now. Especially attacking my my friend right here. That's my guide. No homo. That's my guy. The guide is my guy. I don't like the anti aerius added in wooden tools that I spawn with. That doesn't make my life easy. <laughs> Got some good old wooden tools. So one thing I'm hyped about playing in uh, Revengeance mode. We're going to get some new accessories and weapons that I haven't seen. Uh, for example, at the end of the fishing playthrough, like episode 55, the last bonus episode I just recorded and put out the other day, we uh, ran into... Oh, we got a blowpipe. We ran into a weapon uh, called the Halibut Fish, which is... Uh, you get that from killing the Eidolon Worm. That weapon seemed cool as shit. And you can only get it in Revengeance. That's dope. I hear that gun is going to... I hear it's going to get a nerf, though. It's kind of upsetting. But it's dope. And it's unique and i like unique weapons man i tried to find that like okay i didn't i'll be honest i didn't really try to find it but there's that i don't know if i talked about it in the last episode or if it was in a live stream but there's a there was a mod that added in fish weapons that were like guns so there was like a i don't remember if there was exactly a goldfish that was a pistol but that was my example that i used like it was just a goldfish with a barrel in its mouth and it was like a pistol I don't remember if there was an actual goldfish like that, but that's what I'm using as an example. And there was a bunch of weapons like that. Like, I think there was an Arapaima that was like a rifle <laughs> and it had a barrel in its mouth. It was a really cool looking mod. I bet I could find the the wiki of it. It just isn't updated. I don't think it's updated. We need more mods like that. More fish weapon mods. You know what I'm saying? Juice is doing a good job continuing on continuing the legacy of that mod that no one really knows. But uh, I don't know. I'll have to look in, look into that mod. I need better tools, man. Give me some iron. I can do without the copper. Uh, actually, we can probably make some pretty useful out of copper, like a bow. Okay, I can do with the copper. So let's. Oh, there's a bunch of iron underneath me too. Let's blow this stuff up. Get a little bit of this. I need like a music changer. You know what I'm saying? You know how like there's all those remix of Terraria music. Is there a mod that does that? <laughs> I want some music remixes. I'm not saying I don't love my Terraria music. I would like some music remixes though. Hopefully none of them that are copyrighted. I've always wanted to just play like music like that that people have remixed, but I don't know. You never know. If you guys uh actually never mind, I don't want to worry about it. But like I played a fucking the song in Quiplash in Jackbox. 
all my videos that had Jackbox music, and this is because of a stupid YouTube error. Who who would expect a YouTube error is fuck me over for the eighth thousand time? But I I play I had all these Jackbox stream highlights or not stream highlights, but these Jackbox streams we did from way back when, like a year ago. Those all got copyright strike. Not like bad copyright strike, but still copyright strike. It's a copyright strike, man. And I had to delete all of them. Cause I didn't want them to do anything on my have anything on my channel. I wasn't gonna go through and mute it. It's too much work. That takes forever. I don't even think it could have. I could have muted it because I would have did it. But uh, usually when you try and like mute a certain song, like use the YouTube like mute edit thing you can do, it usually takes forever. It takes like a day sometimes, especially for those like hour long videos. What is that? So NTRs. All right. Oh, there's a life crystal. We're gonna get that and we're gonna go back up. Uh, we got hunting to do for my boy right here. Yo, my guy, no homo. How you doing, man? Oh, shit, I forgot I blocked this off. I'm here to help you establish your base. Okay? We're going to get you your base. So I'm going to try and find some boars off camera. And uh, we're going to try and finish this quest. And we'll end off the first book episode. Okay, we got bigger problems than finding the boar stuff. Pink Zor is here, man. Pinksor, the big slime. Pinksor, the pinky, slime. the big pinky. I don't know. He's having some troubles though. And I, I feel kind of bad. He's like, he gets inside of here and he does a little like. Oh, he actually got inside. Oh god. All right, I'd like to see you get past that, dude. He's getting past it really easily. I thought these, would, I thought these would be challenges. It's all good. We got a copper bow. It's just a, it's a normal copper bow though. Oh my god, you jump really quick. I don't remember you jumping this quickly. I know you could jump far. I didn't know you could jump quickly. Chill out. Chill out. I'm saving my guy. This is my other guy. No homo. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Not early on. We're not now. Oh, God. Now we got to fight pinkies. Oh, jeez. Okay, hold up. Spit at him. Poo. Poo, poo. Poo. Hey, is the, uh, the glove we get from this guy, is that a ranged weapon or is that a throwing weapon? I don't remember. I don't think I had it during Nunderson. So I don't even think Juice Mod had this stuff during when we did Nunderson. Hey, we're gonna get to be able to use whatever weapon we can use from this tracker quest. This is not a tracker. From the hunt master. Look at this. I got the perfect angle right here. Just staying like a little bit below a block under him. Works perfectly. Beautiful. Sexy. Awesome. I still gotta hunt boars though. Oh shoot! <laughs> I just killed a boar and we got tomato boy. Don't come down here. What the fuck was that? Dude literally came perfectly down into my hole that I had. We gotta fight him too? I don't exactly got the gear to be taking on these uh, enemies that I gotta keep taking on. Oh jeez. Stay there. Stay there. Oh my god, he's so fast. Help! Please! <laughs> Look at the little dash he be doing. He, SAX. You gotta help me, my guy. No, <laughs> I gotta get up here. I'm sorry, Gnome Village. There's fucking like doorways and shit are too small. How do you, you just jump through shit? He just jumps through stuff. This ain't good. Oh man, that slime was coming for me. I only have 30 arrows. Jump over me. Ooh, that hey, that was a clean dodge, and I still got hit somehow. Oh god, they're trying to make me take fall damage. They don't want to see me succeed out here. I'm gonna run out of arrows to fight this guy. Wait, no. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. We got the combo going on. The poison combo mixed with the fucking arrows. Oh my god. Obliterated. Too bad we don't really get to use the tomato head. I mean, we get to stop. We get to use it to go fast. Oh, we can actually. This thing is like a goddamn utility tool more than it is a melee weapon. Look at this, I'm getting all these seeds for the blow dart on top of moving fast. Like, come on, bro. That's perfect. I don't know, whatever, just put all this on. It's not like it matters. Oh, look, we got beautiful wings on our back. I kind of, I need a familiar wig. I don't really want him to have helmets on. His eyes look normal with a helmet on. Now, obviously, when you take off his helmet, his eye completely changes position. What the fuck? Yeah, something, something's wrong there. Uh, but yeah, back to what I was doing for the like 10th time. 
Hunting boars. I, I killed one more before I was attacked by a tomato. I found a little gnome town, but I saw a boar's feet from down here. So I want to kill him. What's up, boar? Let me use the blow dart on you. The blow dart kind of sucks. <laughs> because it has decisive on it. So I, I might not use it that much. I kind of wanted it too. Because I never use it. And it's really unique. Honestly. Isn't there like a late game blow dart we can use? That shoots like actual darts? Oh god. Or blow gun? Blow pipe? There's a blow gun I think. I don't know. I don't use it. Whatever it is. This guy's got a certain pattern to him. And I can't seem to hit him. It don't matter. He's dead. We got the last leather we need. Go over here. I don't care if I just wasted one. We just we just want to craft this. What do we craft it at? This? I'm assuming this is where we craft it. Um. No, possibly an anvil then. Let's try an anvil. Can we leave me alone right now? I don't have the arrows to be fighting the enemies. Please just leave me alone. Magic toolkit. There we go. What was that? Y'all seen that? It was like a cool looking bow we could have made. Get out of here, man. I, I legit don't have that ammo for this. Okay. Let's do it. Where is it? I must not be in the house. Ooh, that's so cool. I've never seen a mod do that. I, I remember I played anti Aris in the past. We did a little live stream playthrough of it. I talked shit about it when it came to crafting recipes. But other than that, it's not that bad of a mod. Just the crafting recipes I remembered were really grindy. That's why I didn't like it. But uh never know, that shit probably changed. Set our spawn point here, why not? Do you like your house, man? I did it for you. I did it for you. I don't know how I talk to him again. Whatever. So we're gonna end off this first episode here. Hope you guys are enjoying Boop. Even though we haven't really done anything, if I'm being honest. We haven't done anything yet. But uh get ready. This is gonna this is gonna be a fun series. We're gonna, a lot of new stuff we're gonna experience, a lot of stuff I haven't done before. So I will see y'all next time. Oh, 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 oh.